If you're asking me about me staying or leaving, that's not my decision. You know, I'm here to do a job that I've been asked to do, and, and that's it. You know, we do the best we can with what we have, and uh, we'll continue to do so. I didn't watch it, number one, because I don't watch it at all. You don't watch the show? No. And uh, I was honest. That was my opinion. I thought we were fortunate. I haven't heard from the chairman, but uh, that was my honest opinion, you know, uh, that we thought we were fortunate to get a win in the last minute. We could have lost the game. Our goalkeeper was man of the match. We've lost some games that we were unfortunate too. You know, that's football. Some games we should have won and we lost. Other games you should have, you know, possibly lose and we win. We, we, it's just part of the game. That's football. We've got a very tough job to, to lift the guys up tomorrow and um, get them, you know, motivated and ready to, to go into a very hostile place and a difficult place to, to get a result but at least we take a result with us and I just I sincerely hope it's enough it's going to be it's going to be a very mental game it's going to be a you've got to be very strong mentally over there and obviously football wise as well um, I'm sure they would have watched the game tonight as well you know that's the advantage they have they, they watch us all the time and uh, we've got to see who's available tomorrow who's uh, fit who's not fit who's registered who's not registered um, because some players are not registered for Africa that we have so we'll see what we have who's fit and available, and try and motivate them, try and get them up to it, and try and get into the group stage. I do believe that if we stay up, then we can we can structure the club in a way that it will progress, you know. Um, that's if I stay, you know. I mean, I don't know. I haven't discussed that with the chairman, whether I'll stay or not. My, my deal was just to come for the six games and then try and keep them in the league. Um, if we do stay in the league, then it's down to the chairman and myself to discuss the situation and see where we go from there. But there's obvious, it is obvious that if, you know, if we do stay up, then whoever, you know, if I'm the coach next year or whoever or somebody else, the club needs to structure properly to, to compete in the PSL. You know? and, and I think you know, the club's come from the Vodacom to the first division to the PSL in two years. I mean, it's, a, it's it, it's possibly been too quick for them, you know, to to adjust. You know, you go Vodacom to first division, and it's and it's uh, and it's not that big difference, you know. But then you go to the PSL, and it's a humongous jump, you know, it's huge. And maybe maybe the club got caught, you know. And uh, but I think there's been a lot of mistakes admitted by everybody, and I think you know they're learning, you know. And hopefully, I can be part of it next season to help them, you know, progress. And I do think there's uh, there is a silver lining there. Yeah, is the answer silver. Lining.